Hope you're having a lovely day and you're searching for another recipe. This is the Majestic Cupcakery. Hi, it's Beth at Majestic Cupcakery and today I'm going to be showing you how I get my thin striped buttercream effect on my cakes. It's pretty simple when you know all the right tricks and can be made to look super funky depending on what colours you go for. So I'm starting off with a 4 inch cake already stacked with vanilla buttercream but you could use any flavour you wanted. I'm then just going around the outer cake with more buttercream in a piping bag to crumb coat. I like to zigzag when I'm doing this so I don't end up with a really thick layer for the crumb coat. It just saves you wasting a lot of buttercream. Go ahead and spread that out just to get an even coat. Don't forget the top, pile on that buttercream and get that nice edge. Once it's all spread out and all the crumbs are sealed in, you can take your scraper to make sure the cake is nice and straight. Keep going around until you're happy. And don't forget the more even the cake looks now, the easier it is to decorate later. Taking those edges to get yourself a nice crisp finish and set it in the fridge for half an hour just to let the outer layer firm up. Once out of the fridge, I'm just going in with more buttercream and piping a quite thick amount around the cake. You could choose any colour at this point, this will create one of the colours of your stripe so choose wisely. I've just gone for a magnolia colour for ease. Then just go around spreading lightly to keep the thickness of the buttercream, making sure you can't see any cake peeking through. Again, covering the top to get a nice even layer. You want to take a scraper and lightly go around the cake, smoothing out the buttercream. This doesn't have to be super neat, just so you have a rough evenness all the way around. I then went in with this cake comb that I bought for about £10. It came in a pack of three with different edges. I'm just pressing that into the cake, making sure to press quite far in to make the gaps deep enough to hold the colour. This is where you're going to want to pick the colour of your choice for the gaps and put it in a piping bag. I'm using this thin nozzle number 4 for more accuracy. I like to wiggle this in between to avoid any gaps when it goes to be smoothed out. I've also found out that making sure the nozzle is smaller than the area you're filling helps loads too. Go in with your scraper for the last time to create your stripes. It will look like it's smudging at first, but keep on going making sure you wipe the scraper clean every time it leaves the cake. Eventually the stripes will become more clear. You're probably sick of me saying edges by now, but taking those top edges, get that clean finish you're looking for. And finally, I just pipe some swirls on top of the cake with more buttercream. You can design this however you want, maybe with a drip, maybe with some sweets and chocolates. You are the creator. Oh, I added some sprinkles, they're unicorn and I think it ties the whole pink look together. I hope you all enjoyed this video and give it a try. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you all next time. Bye!